it's amazing. I've been what in the league 30, 40 years, Bill. And I think the one of the most underrated things in basketball and the NBA is a solid culture. If you don't have it, then you're probably not going to win. And you'll be amazed how many front office guys just don't understand that. They don't get it. Um, they think, well, let me just go get talent and we'll do right. it. And it usually doesn't work. It just doesn't. And you had your best chance with the Clippers, but you also had this insane ownership situation that then blew up yeah. what, in like year yeah. three of that. But even before it blew up, it, you had the Grim Reaper sitting courtside every game and walk, waltzing into the locker room. And it was just weird. It was a weird variable yeah. to introduce to an NBA season. It, it was so strange and weird. I, I will say that, um, you know, Steve overall wants you, he, he allows you to try to build your own culture. He's right. very involved. Now, Post Sterling, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's very involved. Sterling, it, it's funny. I think I, I talked to him 10 times, you know, but just his antics, <laughs> you know, dancing at courtside with his girlfriend when his wife is out of town. I right. mean, some of, the, some of the stuff that happened there, you know, I remember it was Vivica's birthday, right? And yeah. he's dancing with her and he spins her like doing a timeout. And I, I told my coaches to look over there <laughs> and, and they, they look, it was a doing a timeout in a regular season. I, they look and I said, I want you guys to know this. <laughs> if he's going to treat his wife that way, we have no chance. <laughs> <laughs> and we start laughing. Oh but my it was God. True. We actually, I meant it. You know, it was true. Yeah. People don't even know like one tenth of all those stories, like him just coming in the locker room with random people and, you know, it, like you knew oh. when you took the job, you had an idea, but there's no way you really knew everything. No. There, you there's no known. way. I, I will honestly say, and I have I don't know if I've, I've said it a couple times to people, there's no way I'd leave Boston if I had known that. <laughs> I mean, come on. I, I left, at the time, I left the most solid organization. Yeah. And I went to the complete worst organization thinking, I can turn this around. I I really did. I I convinced myself of that. And I would say within about two weeks, I knew I was, oh boy. (laughs) Right. So this is way worse than you can ever imagine from the outside. I knew because I had had the season tickets since like 04 for them. And I just knew a lot of people. I knew a lot of people that worked for the team. (laughs) And they would tell the stories. And I would always be like, that can't be true. They're like, no, this happened on Tuesday. And they're and oh. just like, oh my God, you can't write this, but this is, this happened three weeks ago. I'm like, oh my God. And yeah, that was a guy and they couldn't do anything about it. That was the craziest thing. It was like no, having somebody buy a house next to you and just be insane and you can't get rid of the guy. Ruining the whole neighborhood. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm sure that's what David Stern and Alan thought. We got this one guy and he's ruining our entire neighborhood and we can't do anything about it. He, he literally had to self explode himself, implode right. himself for them to get him out of the league. Well, unfortunately, he picked the postseason when you guys had a chance to win the <laughs> yeah. title for that yeah. to happen. Uh, next four words or less. LeBron James, year 21. This is his 21st year, and you were in the league coaching, I think, for all of the other years, except for maybe one. Um did you think anybody could ever even average 20 points a game in their 21st year in the league that wasn't no. like seven foot seven? No, what he has done is extraordinary, Bill. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I never mince words. Michael Jordan is the greatest NBA basketball player to ever lace it up, in my opinion. LeBron James will have the greatest NBA career. Yep. And, and it's you. not even close. Um, I mean, his career is not over, which is nuts. Like Jabbar, yeah, you can play 20 years. You're seven feet tall. You had a shot that no one else has ever been able to do. And even in Jabbar's last year, you still couldn't do anything about it. LeBron is still like, you know, top five, top 10 athlete in the league. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, You know, look, think about LeBron and Carl Malone. And I think this is right. LeBron weighs two pounds more than Carl Malone. I mean, just just visually think of the speed that LeBron plays with, running with the weight of Carl Malone. I mean, right. it's just amazing. And 
And, you know, well, and the, and the creativity. The well, yeah, Carl yeah. Malone didn't have like one tenth of that. Yeah, no. I, this is why I kept circling whether I wanted to pick the Lakers because I was so impressed by them in the playoffs, how physical they were. I know they got swept, but they were just such a bitch to play because he's so powerful. You know, that this strength game that he had that he just didn't have when you guys were battling him in the late 2000s. He, now he, he does. He wouldn't do it. He wouldn't right. even post up. Like, right. I remember game one in our, our Cleveland series. He, the first play of the game was a post up play, and he scored. And I turned to Tibbs like, uh oh. <laughs> right. Did he figure he it out? Like, like, and he never did it again. Like, literally, he never did it again. You know, the Lakers are their size. Their size is a factor. And when they play size and speed, and I always tell this to teams, teams with, with size that can run, it's like a snowball rolling downhill. You can't stop it. So yeah. uh, I watched them in an exhibition game. I did the game. If they try to, if they played the pace they played that night all year, they're a problem. They're a Am, major problem. All right. I got to ask you about Wimby. I have you him. seen the clips? Have you seen him in uh, person? What have been your interact? What, what's your Wimby experience so far? I, I, you know, I've talked to Pop, but I've not seen him in person. I, I, you, he's right now, Bill. If you turn the TV on, you're flipping around and you stop, and he's in a game. You're not you stop. turning again. Yeah, you're watching. You're, the, I don't know if you saw that. I watched the Golden oh, State game. I did. I, I, I watched it live. I, he had a two minute stretch. I didn't even know what happened. I, I like blacked out. Listen, when you start blocking three point shots, Clay Thompson, he blocked. Clay and Steph may be the quickest shooters in the league. Uh, Wiggins, like, once it's rare. I bet, you know, I don't even know what the stats. You should look it up. How many three point uh, shots are blocked? Oh, my God. It, it can't be, it's, it's got to be less than like 100 a year, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this guy is doing it every night. He's doing it. So when you're shooting now and you see him coming, it, it, it's in your brain. The whole league is in their brain already. Um, he, he can score. He can really shoot the ball. And the nights that he's really making threes, he becomes unguardable. Um, I, his passing he looks, he looks really comfortable, doesn't he, offensively? I, it, like, since the summer to now, the, I was yeah. the most surprised by that. He's in no rush. He's taking his time. You know, I remember when, like, Coach Al Jefferson, remember Al when he first got like, everything yeah, was yeah. quick. And I used to say, Al, the guy guard you, I swear to God he's not going to grow. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna be shorter than you in five seconds. Take your time, you know. And when right. Al started doing that, it was over. You know, when he's already doing that, he's already playing at a great pace. I, I, and let's just listen. He couldn't have gone to a better place. Yeah, he really could for a lot of reasons. Tony Parker from France. You know, there's so many good reasons, and it's so good for the league that uh, I'm really hoping. You know, my only fear is health because of his size. Yeah, and the, you even see it's just hard for him to get out of the way when guys dive for a loose ball and he's yeah. got to, like, move his body. You played, you were in the league when Manute showed up that first year. Yeah. It was, and it was like, what's going on? This guy's blocking five blocks a game and everybody's just throwing moonshots over him to try. Like, do you remember that? Oh, God. Bill, him and, him and Mark Eaton, too. Uh, but, yeah. but, but more... Boy, boy, I remember many times, like, I had, I went around a guard. He's behind me, Bo, so I got the layup. And you lay it a go, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere. And it would, it would, it bothered your game. Like, you didn't like playing against Washington because of him, you know? And this kid is doing this with the offense. Uh, he's a great passer. People yeah, are talking about his passing. So he's, uh, man, they're going to play him at that high elbow at times. And what do you do? People are going to be cutting around. He can turn around and shoot. He can just think about it. when he has the ball in the elbow. He's all he can always shoot and turn. What are you going to do about it? Right. <laughs> you know. Uh, well, wow, it's going to be fun to watch. He also has the quality you mentioned earlier. Like he's really competitive. Very competitive. Like that Warriors game, me, he was like, "I'm playing Steph Curry and Clay Thompson, and I'm going to put on a show in this game. I'm really excited." And he did it. You know, I was talking to Austin last week, and he said, you know that, you know what everybody's missing by Wimby? I said, what's that? He's competitive. He's competitive. He's got, he's got the gene. Like, he wants to beat people. Uh, and you can see it. Uh, even the first uh, rookie game, he didn't play well. Did you see his mind? Like, you can feel his mindset yeah. in that second game. Like, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to show you who I am. Like, I love guys like that. 